Hey what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel today. Today guys we have episode number 3 of the Inter Milan career mode on FIFA 20. Now uh, I just want to say a big thank you for the support on the previous two episodes. Um, the views and the comments and the likes has been really really uh, good and I appreciate the support so far. Before we get into today's episode if you could leave a like, comment and subscribe if you're new around here that would be greatly appreciated also. Now for today we have got... Uh, transfer deadline day as you can see I've got some players still left on the shortlist and um, there's a few of them obviously I can't really get these players and um, but there's a couple of youngsters which I'm going to try and pick up now uh, one of them being Billy Gilmore uh, Fabio Silva and Adam Holzek I don't know how you actually pronounce his name um, I haven't actually scouted these players in time before the deadline day uh, Felipe Anderson I don't have enough money for him I only have 11 million pound left um, so what I'm going to do because obviously I don't really know how much they're worth I'm just gonna kind of guess May I, might, I might overspend on these players um, but we're just gonna give a chance now unless we do a player swap but I don't really know if that's even worth it like for example like someone like this or like this guy they, they are looking for center back full back or winger what full backs we got okay what about this guy Okay, offer of a player. What about? I mean, how many fullbacks do we have? Two left backs, right back, right back. I mean, we don't even play with a fullback to be honest. Hmm. Let me try another position. Wingers. What wingers do we have left over? Andreva Sanchez. We don't really have many wingers either. I'm probably just going to offer money at this point. Uh, offer transfer fee. How much do you reckon Billy Gilmore is actually worth though? I'm going to try 2 million. I don't know if that's too much or too low. Okay, I've probably given way too much there, but we're going to go in now to the contract with Billy Gilmore. Hopefully, we can um, get him here. Obviously, he's not going to be on too much money because he's only a youngster. Uh, it's just going to be a squad player for us uh, if I just rotation. Uh, he doesn't have a game face at the moment. Four year contract, that'll do. Uh, I'm going to give him a release clause of like, I don't know, 30 million, for example. I don't know if they're going to, oh, they don't want that. Okay, well, will accept that one. Uh, now, in terms of his salary, so obviously I don't really know what he's on right now. I'm going to offer like 20, 25. That's probably a lot. I don't know if that's too much or too less. Yeah, that's definitely way too much for an 18 year old, but uh, Billy Gilmore signs on deadline day. Uh, the next one I'm going to try is this guy uh, because it will just give me some more options on the right hand side. Again, another rotational player. I'll just put these players in training. Uh, so, how much do you reckon they are worth? Let me try a player swap of like Kandreva or someone like that. Uh, yeah, let's try Kandreva. Yeah, that's fine because I'm not going to use Kandreva. So, I'd rather bring in a youngster that will be uh, better in the future. Uh, Kendraver's getting old, so I'm not really too bothered about that. Definitely, obviously, in terms of real life, that would never happen because Kendraver's probably worth more than that. Uh, than, than a 17-year-old, that's not really, like, been uh, shown yet. Uh, I'll give him four years, I guess. Four years will do. Uh, release clause. I'll just give him, like, a set five mil release clause. That'll do. And then his wage, again. I'm probably going to offer way too much money, but... I'm just going to offer him, I'll offer him 20 as well. I mean, we've got enough money to do it. So that's fine. There's another signing. Holsek, I don't know how you pronounce it, um, is in the club. I'm going to try and get Fabian Silva as well. Oh, he has a release clause. Oh, okay, that's nice. I'll just pay the release clause. So we can just go straight into negotiations with him. And then three Wonder Kid signings on deadline day is pretty good. Rotation again. Obviously, he's probably not going to get much game time. Uh, but at least we have two strikers that can rotate now uh, between like in cup games and stuff like that. Uh, we'll see how the season actually goes um, before we actually carry on. So how much do you reckon this guy? I reckon he's on a bit more. I'm going to give him 29 and I'm going to give him like signing bonus of 50 grand. I know he's only 17 but yeah. Probably way too much wage but that is that for that guys. Um, we've signed three new exciting youngsters. Uh, obviously, I'll show you what the plan is. Obviously, this is the team. 
Uh, we've got a lot of players on the bench. You see, we've got a lot of midfielders that we don't really need to play. So I'm going to bring him up to here. I'm actually going to put him on the bench for him. And Gilmore, I'm going to bring up on the bench as well for Vizinho. Uh And Silva, I'm just going to bring up to here for now, I think. Uh, I mean, two strikers on the bench. You don't really need two strikers. I mean, he's better rated than this guy, so I'm just going to put him there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have this striker, Silva, Holzek. I don't know. That's probably I've probably butchered his name. Gilmore in training, and probably Loftus Cheek as well. So they'll like rotate around. So we've got a lot, nice few midfielders now, and uh, also he could even start ahead of Rodrigo. But for now, I'm going to keep Rodrigo there. Um, so that's that for now. Deadline day signings have been done. Uh, we're going to go through deadline day now together, uh, just in case we have any offers for other players, which I don't know if we will. We might, if they're reasonable, then I might sell them. Uh, just depends who the player is and what the price is. Uh, I think that's going to be an offer for someone now. Uh, who is that? Is that our CDM? I'm going to reject that because I don't really think, I don't really want to sell him because I want to keep the midfield. Uh, I want to keep like the squad depth pretty good. Um, so, like I said, I probably won't be selling anyone um, in this uh, transfer market or deadline day. Just pure, just because of the pure fact they want to have a decent squad. So we've made somehow £82 million profit off that, which is uh, pretty good. Unfortunately, I did have to buy Sanchez uh, in the market. But then again, because, of, because the updates weren't done, I just sold uh, Lukaku. Uh, not Lukaku, sorry, I sold Icardi because uh, he was still on the squad as well so it kind of worked out well so that looks like that's done for now let's see these no oh martinez no 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 I'm not gonna sell him i'm gonna block offers for martinez man city thought they were gonna get him loan off uh, for asamoah i mean i'll accept that because he's not gonna he won't be playing for us because we haven't got left backs so this is what we're going to be doing in today's episode as you see we've got uh Calegri. Uh, Cagliari, I don't know, Cagliari? I don't know how you pronounce that. Again, like I said, when I'm doing these foreign teams, I will not be able to pronounce names properly. Uh, then we'll have Udinese, and then we're probably going to finish off on the Spurs Champions League game, and we'll leave the Milan game for the next episode uh, with Lazio and Sampdoria, just because um, obviously we had deadline day, we made a few signings, so these three games will be able to cover a decent length of the episode. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to jump into this game, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, moving on into the first game of the episode, hopefully we can continue our form uh, from the first game of the season in the previous episode uh, with a win again. Let's see how we get on. Allegri playing the ball round nicely here. Ball played into Siri up top. Nandez inside, lovely ball and that's 1-0 already. Six minutes in and we're already 1-0 down. Calogri were playing some nice football there. I just couldn't get the ball off them. Uh, he's played it through with the legs of uh, De Vrij, I think that is. And we go 1-0 down early on, which is not a good start for us in this game. Hopefully we can try and work something uh, to get a goal. Because, yeah, that's not a great start at all. Rodrigo now on the ball. Plays it inside to Martinez. Turns. Trying to play in Lukaku there. I've missed the ball completely. Here they come again, deep in our half. Turned around. Oh, I thought he was going to play it through to nine goal and then. And he's played it through again. Oh, it's wide. Oh, I've played it short and I've completely messed that up and it's 2 0. Oh my god, what am I doing? I've completely messed that goal kick up. Oh my god, what am I doing? Really bad. That's poor from me. Uh, 2 0 down. Side 16 minutes, not good at all. Nine going on the ball, deep in our box. Verratti clears, not that far though. Handanovic is going to pick up the ball. Try to play a quick one. Ah, oh, it's not aiming it there, but Lukaku's won it. Sanchez now trying to play out from the back. Verratti and try and pass it to Rodrigo, which he has done well. Not really many options here at all. Varela, Lukaku, Martinez, can he turn? Martinez, oh, I couldn't get past the defender. Varela on the ball now, Lukaku's inside. 
going to play it to Sensi. I can't really get the ball for a shot. We'll switch it back across. It's the post. No, that was a great chance there to get a goal. Just before half time as well. And we'll get hit on the counter again. Which seems to be happening quite a lot. Uh, it's every time we go up the pitch. But that's probably going to be half time now anyway. We're getting played off the park here, by the way. Nine Golan inside. Godin gets the ball and loses it straight away. Nine Golan through on goal. Good block from De Vrij. Verratti comes away with the ball. Going to need some options here. Lukaku's ahead of him. Martinez is as well. Can Verratti find Rodrigo? Yes, he can. Lovely touch from Rodrigo. Lovely run here. Martinez is inside. Martinez has to score. Surely, yes. One goal back for Inter. Martinez with a lovely goal. That's a lovely team goal there. Verratti starting off with Rodrigo. Rodrigo cutting it back to Martinez. And that is a goal for Inter Milan. Lovely pass across. Good first touch and great finish into the top corner. Um, for Martinez there. Getting another goal this season. Varela now on the ball. Waiting for that run of Rodrigo. Took his time to get going. But here he is now with the acceleration inside Martinez is there oh he couldn't quite find the through ball to Martinez but Vratti's gonna win that is that not a foul ref no okay but nine Golan on the ball still on the attack here whipped into the back post cleared by Sanchez of all people Vratti can he find that ball yes he can Varela Martinez plays it out to Rodrigo Rodrigo is bursting away. Lovely pace from him. Rodrigo's going all the way. Can Rodrigo finish it? No! Saved by the keeper. Should have really scored there, to be honest. Oh, my God. I'm going to have to make a substitution soon. Ball's whipped in. Can we get anything on that? Godin! Oh, what a goal! By the centre-back, Godin with the strike. First time to the top corner. Let's get a little look at that replay. Full swim. And what a goal that is from Godin. We're 2-0 down. It's now 2 all. Hopefully we can get another goal and get the three points. Godin with a lovely strike. Actually deflected off one of the defenders. But I will take that nonetheless. 69th minute and Godin strikes to make it 2 all. Here come the opposition again down the left-hand side. Trying to keep up with this player here. And he's whipped it straight out there for a goal kick. 72nd minute. Now I'm making three substitutions. Um... Rodrigo, Lukaku and Sensi are coming off for Billy Gilmore, uh, our new striker, Silva, and also, um, who's the other one? Oh, the, other, uh, the new signing. So all three of the youngsters are coming on now. Holsek, or however you pronounce his name, um, all coming on. And the ball's here to Silva already. Silva with his first shot of the game. And he nearly scores on his debut with his first shot. So, yeah, I just basically tried to... Um, Bring on all these youth players just for their first game uh, and they needed some fresh legs on the pitch anyway so uh, I thought why not let's just bring them all on ball played over the top behind the defense Sanchez is chasing balls whipped in can we get rid of it yes we can Varela now on the ball picking up the loose ball not really many options here is there we're gonna play it inside to Martinez can we play it back in no we can't Verratti chasing the ball down. Verratti doing some really good work here off the ball. Nangolan inside. Castro is now on the ball. Good tackle from Godin. Now we can break away with Barella. Not really many options again. Going to play it into the middle of the park where Silva is. Silva to Gilmore. Lovely pass from him. Silva's through. Can he touch it round? Yes, he can. Barella going to whip this one in. To the back post, Martinez is there. Silva! Oh, he's put it wide. No! Verratti now on the ball. Going to try and slide that in. No, he can't. Can't get the ball in there. Only one minute left of this game. Nine going out wide. Castro's on the ball. Verratti chasing it down. Turns me inside again. Not really much happening here. Godin, lovely interception. Martinez needs to get running if he wants any chance, and no. I mean, full time to all. At the start of the game, well, the first half especially, I would have taken a point after going 2 0 down. So we can't really complain there. 
Uh, I'm going to jump into the post-match interview for this game before we jump into the next game of the episode. Hopefully, um, we can get a win in the next game. So that means we, we've won one and we've drew one in the first two games of the season. Um, so, Billy Gilmore. Um, I'm going to, yeah, I'll say that because I'm, the, the answer to it. Yeah, let's just say that. Obviously, yeah, there you go. I'll just say that to just keep them happy. Right, guys, we're going to jump into the next game of the episode. Alright guys, moving on into the next game of the episode against Udinese at home. Hopefully we can pick up three points here. Uh, I'm expecting to do a much better performance than the previous game. Uh, we've gone with the same starting 11 as the previous game. Uh, again, we'll probably make some subs later on into the half. Uh, unless we pick up any injuries uh, before then. But anyway, let's see how we get on. Lukaku straight away with Martinez. Can he get a shot off? Martinez! Saved by the keeper. Corner now, whipped in by Sensi. Front post is Skriniar, I think that was. Uh, oh, no, it's Godin, but I think that's another corner there. I'm going to whip it into the same sort of area. Godin's there again. Sensi down to Barella, and he's offside. Sensi now on the ball. Going to wait for that run of Barella. He's going to slide in Lukaku. Lovely turn from him. Can he whip it into Martinez? Oh, what a goal that is from Martinez. Lovely, lovely play from Lukaku there. Lovely turn off the defender and a lovely cross into the middle of the box for Martinez to tap in. Let's get a replay of that. Lovely play from Inter. Lovely turn from Lukaku there. Whips it across the face of the goal and boom, in from Martinez there. Lovely, lovely play uh, from them. And that makes it 1-0 to Inter Milan in the first half. Udinese deep in our half. Handanovic claims that well. Lukaku's furthest forward. So is Martinez. Oh, Martinez. Oh, he's actually won the ball back. Lukaku slips one into Martinez. Can he find Lukaku? That's a lovely ball from Verratti. Lukaku's in. Lukaku. Oh, what a goal that is from Lukaku just before half time. Lovely play from Inter Milan once again. Uh, Verratti picking out a lovely pass to Lukaku. Lovely spin-off turn uh, to stay on side there from Lukaku as well. Two in a winter, I think that is first half wrapped up for us. Hey, from Udinese there. Balls played across, and it's a great block from De Vrij. I'm going to switch that out to Rodrigo now. Play that into Sensi, Verratti. Nice play. Lukaku's there. Back to Martinez. Going to try and play it back to Lukaku, who is in. Lovely touch from Lukaku. He shoots across. Goal. Good save by the keeper. Udinese on the attack. The ball could get played through in the middle there, but it didn't. Still on the ball. Can we get rid of it? De Vrij lunging in. Well played from De Vrij. Now, can we get up the other end? Barella now on the ball. Martinez is furthest forward with Lukaku inside to Verratti. Loftus Cheek is there. Plays into Lukaku. Oh, she's trying to play it one over again, but we're giving the ball. Oh, the ball's been given back to us. Martinez to Lukaku. Lukaku, don't really know what you're doing there, mate. Verratti's on the ball. Oh, we've lost it again. Udinese on the counter attack. Can we get the ball back now with Godin? Still on the attack here. Playing it. A nice little slow build up here. Uh, Ratty. Trying to press there. Good defending from De Vrij. That's actually a really nice pass to get it out as well. Verratti now. To Martinez. 1-2 with Loftus-Cheek. Um, Lukaku, sorry. Not Loftus-Cheek. Uh, Barella. Plays a nice ball out to Sanchez now. Going to play in Lukaku. Lukaku strikes. Oh my god. What a save from the keeper. I'm going to make a quick sub before the... Ball is out. Obviously, Verratti looks like he's quite um, tired there, so I'm going to take him off. And I'm also going to take Sanchez off for uh, Holsek. If I'm pronouncing his name wrong, please let me know because I think I am. Um, I could just call him Zek if I have to, but anyway, Loftus Cheek with the corner. Lukaku's there. Oh, I just couldn't get there. He's going to be offside if I hit this. 
And yeah, I shouldn't have probably, I should have just left that go for a co corner. Off the sheet down to Gilmore, gonna play that inside to Barella, back to Gilmore. Gilmore's through, he shoots, blocked by the defender. I think that was going on target, but unfortunately it, it didn't because the um, defender blocked that. That's a nice pass through to Anudia is a player, but he's just completely skied that. Three out of minutes on the 90. Uh, Handanovic with the goal kick and aim up for, towards Lukaku and Martinez. He's actually won the header, to be fair to him, but no one there to get on the second ball. Gilmore, a lovely tack it, tackle. Loftus Cheek. Martinez. Loftus Cheek. Can he play it back to Martinez? Oh, that's a lovely pass. Martinez. Saved by the keeper. I should be finishing that. But I think that's going to be full time whistle, and it is. Good result for Inter after that 2-2 um, draw in the previous game. 2-0 victors. Let's move into the final game of the episode against Spurs in our Champions League debut. Right guys, into the final game of the episode and our first Champions League game of the season. At home against uh, Spurs. Obviously this is going to be a really tough game. Uh, and these are the games we need to be winning in the group. Obviously we've got Barcelona and also PSV in the uh, group. Uh, for today's game, I made two changes to the starting 11. I brought in Loftus Cheek for Sensi, and I've also brought in uh, our young winger uh, Holsek for Rodrigo on the right hand side. So hopefully, we can get a win here. Let's see how we get on. I'm going to play it inside to Lukaku. Lukaku tries to turn. Loftus Cheek is here. Loftus Cheek dribbles through. Oh, Sanchez with a great tackle. Oh, it's a great ball in, and Rafa has scored at the back post. So annoying. Poor marking from the defenders there. It was literally out of nothing. A ball was just kept there. Kane turned inside, whipped it in, and that is a goal for Spurs. 1-0, and we have not started this game at all. Spurs on the attack again. Harry Winks into Kane. Loftus Cheek tries to make a tackle. Ball played into Ericsson. And it's 2 0. 2 0 down inside 20 minutes in the first game of the Champions League against Spurs. I mean, that is just absolutely shocking defending from us. I mean, Spurs had two chances, scored two. What more can you say? We just have not started here at all. We're, not, we're just playing so poorly. And again, the season stuff like that, we're just losing the ball so cheaply. 2-0 now. Hopefully we can just try and get something back from this game. Kane on the ball. Plays the ball over the top to Rafa. Rafa waiting for the cross. Whips in. Godian blocks. It's out for a Spurs corner already. Hopefully we can get this clear. It's nearly half time as well, so this is the worst time to concede, which we nearly do. Oh my god, get the ball out. Off this cheek, and that's half time. Ericsson on the ball now. Plays it wide to Lamella. Whipped in. Good block by Vry there. Oh my god, we can't keep the ball for more than five seconds. Verratti out to Barella. Martinez lays it off to Barella. To Lukaku, I need some support here. Martinez is there. Driving on through. Oh my god, are you being serious? I would have been through on goal there. There's no way that. I mean, I got a free kick, but free kicks are useless on this game. I'm just going to lay it off to Lukaku. Back to Sanchez. Sanchez is going to curl one. It's well wide. Here comes Lamella down the wing. Godin trying to catch him. Whipped in. That should be the keepers. Why are you not catching that? Oh my god. What is Handanovic doing there? I brought on a few subs. Rodrigo's come up front for Martinez. And uh, Billy Gilmore's come on in midfield for Barella. Uh, just trying to freshen up the legs. Because, I mean, we're just chasing the ball at this stage. We're not really doing anything. Hardly had any chances this game. Spurs are just dominated me with this one touch football I just can't get the ball off them uh, so I'm not really expecting to get a goal in this game Sanchez now can we get something going here off this cheek needs some options here balls played wide 
We cut that inside. That's a lovely cut inside. Lay it across. Oh, we couldn't get the ball across there. Godin now needs to win the header. He does. Gilmore now on the ball. Rodrigo. Lukaku. Off this cheek, can he get a shot off? He skied it. Bring Sensi on for Sanchez as well. Let's get those fresh legs on. Ball whipped into the back post. Skrinja headers it away. Lamella now on the ball. Good tackle from Skrinja. And <laughs> there's another corner. We've literally been absolutely dominated this game. I literally don't know what to do. It was game over anyway. It's 2-0 in the 90th minute. Uh, with a corner now. Gilmore, that's not a bad tackle that. But of course, the game just bounces the ball back to them. Lukaku, nice tackle. Goes straight back to them. Through on goal. Rafa, saved by the keeper. And that's full time, guys. Shocking display from myself and the team. We just didn't, we just couldn't get anything going at all here. Uh, we had literally two shots and they were both off target. 37% possession. That just sums it up. Barcelona won their first game as well. Um, so, I mean, it's just not a good start at all. Probably going to put us rock bottom of the group. Uh, some questions here. Uh, he's, Verratti's actually been playing very well for us. He's probably only one of the alright players. Um, I'll just say the blame is mine. Probably could have changed the formation or something. Um, they were the better team, let's be honest. Anyway, guys, that's it for the post-match interview and the episode. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace!